today I'm making a geometric tiled tray with Maker Crate. Some assembly required. It's lighter than you would expect a bunch of tiles to be. Maybe they're really small. Let's find out. Whee! Mmm, all right. Looks like we've got black and white and maybe a yellow. A little nervous about the yellow, not gonna lie. Maker Crate and I don't always agree on how bright colors should be. But most people don't agree with me on that. What else? Well, we have our little maker guide. That's kind of pretty. What do we have in here? We've got our little code so we can find out what we're doing. Another pretty example. More inspiration. And a cool history of tile art. That's cool. Ooh. Ooh. Gloves. Unsanded grout. That's powder. Tile adhesive. Gets its own little bag. Maker grade. I think we could probably use a little less packaging. Because it could have gone in here. We have a little scrapey looking tool. Well, probably a mixing for our grout. And a spatula. Maybe that's for the... I don't know, grout? We'll find out. Ah! <laughs> They're not actually in there. Okay, that's fine. Gold tiles. I was afraid of that, guys. That's not my favorite color. Black, although gray. Black, gray. They call them black. White. So a lot of white, a lot of black, and less gold. Maybe like half as much gold. Ish. Ooh. And in here, we have not the same size. I feel like this is to plan out your pattern. But <laughs> but guys, it's not the same. It looks like there's a whole nother row over here I don't understand. Okay, so maybe this is what we'll plan our little designs on. And then here's our tray. I don't know if it's supposed to be kind of the different colors. It's probably just the wood. Not on that side. It'll be fine. So let me watch the videos and figure out what's going on here. Okay, I think I followed that. <laughs> we'll find out. In other news, I counted the spaces on here. Well, I counted across, and they're the same as this one. The first thing that we do is, of course, the hard part for me, and that is to figure out what I'm gonna make. Uh, I have to figure out a cool pattern, but I don't have any idea. So what I will do is just take the little tiles. So I'll just try a bunch of different things and see if I can find something that I like. As I mentioned, this is not a super favorite color for me, but I do like the idea of having three colors, so I will be using it. It may not be a focus, but probably it'll be in there. I have no idea. Literally zero clue in my head, so let's move some tiles around, I guess. So I feel like this is kind of nice, but I'm out of white. So that pattern's not gonna work. <laughs> Took kind of a long time to find that out. Okay, let's try again. It's kind of like, I don't know if you remember, but playing with those little plastic shape tiles in math class back in the day. So at least it's kind of fun. That's good, because I'm about to do it all again. Oh, okay, so I just noticed that I've basically been making this, but with too much space in between them. Okay, so probably I don't need to recreate it because we know that it works, so we know that there are enough tiles. So this is an option, this is not, but let's try some more anyway. Now, 
I know I'm going to run out of yellow on this one, but let's uh, just go ahead and see what it looks like. As expected, I did run out of yellow, and I like the tessellations, but at the same time, I feel like it looks like I ran out of yellow and it's kind of like, eh. So, it's a possibility. But let's keep trying. Now, maybe I'll try something stripey. What if we try with the black next to the yellow? That might be more bold. And I do like bold. This is not a pattern that I expected to like. Um, but I kind of like it. I'm finding it hard to decide between the two. I like this one, but also it's, you know, spaced out properly with its grout and it's lovely. This one doesn't have its grout yet. I think it will look cool with that extra contrast. And I'm going to be original. <laughs> I'm going to try this one. I don't need to count the tiles to make sure that I have enough because I already put them on. The next step that Maker Crate suggests is to mark your paper, like your template, with the colors of the tiles that you want to use. But then you train, I believe, <laughs> you then move that information to the tray. So what if, instead of marking that and then marking the tray, I just mark the tray from here? I might be more likely to mess up, but I don't think so. Maybe as I write them down, I will put my tiles back where they belong so that I can kind of keep up with where I am. I feel like it's a perfectly reasonable way to do it. Mm, we'll see if it's a bad idea. I'll do it so you don't have to. Hang on, let me mark them. Fabulous. I've done it. So that's uh, great. The next thing that we'll do is start gluing tiles, I guess. Um, one thing to point out, I guess, is the tiles are plastic. I don't know if you could hear that. They sound plastic. But some of them also have like tiny little bumps, you know, when you have plastic things and they, yeah, like this guy. I've got little bumps. And so that's gonna have to be down because I don't really want them pointing up and being all weird. So that's going to be a little bit of extra double checking, but that's all right. So let me set up my mess mat and my glue. They suggest about six tiles at a time because apparently the glue dries really fast. Uh-oh, uh, that's scary. And this guy is a spacing tool, apparently. And also you can pry them up if you, if you mess up. Hopefully I will not need that but I will definitely need this. So let me set up. Here we are. I have my glue, my tiles are right here. You can't see them, they're right here. And I have my little separator tool, which isn't actually the, the width that they need to be apart. So I'm not sure how much that will help. Now I took the little pluggy thing out of this, but I, it's not. <laughs> I can't really get the lid back on properly, so let's just hope it works. I, as encouraged by the video, will start at a corner and let's get let's get the colors out first. I need a guild and a bunch of black. Sure, and I'll do one little roundy round and see how hard it is. Glue first, I think little dots. You can also spread it with the little squeegee tool thing. Bye. I'll try it this way. Seems like this should be fine. Okay. <laughs> All right. Make sure there's nothing icky on the top. This is going to take a long time. <laughs> okay. That's straightish. Oh, no, it isn't. Another. <laughs> uh huh. I don't know if this is going to help. All right, so I guess more of that till it's all filled in. You're supposed to wipe the glue off if you get any on the top without moving them. So that's likely to be difficult. Okay, I got six. They don't look like the same width. 
This is going to be tricky, okay? So I don't think it's going to be perfect, judging from the not perfect that it is right now, but that's okay. It's fine. Now that took a while, but I think I got them all straight. It's as straight as it's gonna get. So we'll just let this sit and dry all the way before we start grouting. That should be long enough. Okay, the only thing that's left to do, I think, is grout. Now, unfortunately, I don't remember anything that the video said. I'm gonna have to watch that section over again because I feel like that's the one part you really don't want to do wrong. So let me get a quick refresher. All right, this part sounds messy. What we're gonna do first is add water to our grout because right now it's a powder and the powder is not gonna do us any good. So we will add five tablespoons of water, one at a time and stir thoroughly in between. Okay, mm, I have a feeling powder is gonna go everywhere. You go over there where it's safe, buddy. Don't need this yet. I need this, I need this. I need these. I also brought down some water. Here we go. They say stir thoroughly in between each tablespoon. Yeah, I don't know how you can stir thoroughly because it's basically just solid rock. Stir as thoroughly as I can, I guess. I'm pretty sure I didn't lose track, and that was four. It's definitely the right consistency. I've gone all the way to the bottom. Like, all the way. Uh, nothing there. I got all the way to the edges. I don't think I'm missing any big chunks of powder. Maybe I lost count? I don't think I did. I think I can count to five. Let's say that this is good. It's sort of the consistency of cake frosting. I mean, a little thin for cake frosting, but to me, it seems like very thin grout. So I'm not going to add any more water. This could be a mistake. Stay tuned. So we'll scoop our grout out and kind of spread it across. I mean, I, what? Okay, a minute ago I checked and all of my tiles were perfectly fine. Now it's not. Pause. I need to quickly stick and then I'll work on that section last. I really hope this glue dries fast. I checked. I checked. Hold on. Cool. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll start on the edges because now I have a, a rogue tile in the middle. And let's see how it goes. Let's start over here. Scoopy scoop. Seems quite damp. Let's scrape it across. Ah, fun. Now, we are not supposed to worry too much about the tops of the tiles because we'll go through and wipe them all off later. So at this point, we're just gonna try to fill everything in. Try not to smear it all across the wood. And let's see how it goes. Hmm, so as 
you can see, I didn't really scrape very much with the spatula because it sort of felt like all of the grout was just going away when I did that, and that seems like a bad thing that we're not really supposed to do. So I will just slap a bunch of grout and then we'll wipe it off in a, in a little bit. Feeling worried. Um, no, it should be fine. What we're supposed to do now is take a damp cloth or paper towel or sponge or something and kind of wipe around the edge of the tray. Somehow not messing up all of the tiles at that particular time. So let me get my little sponge wet and I'll try to do that without mm, causing damage. Okay, slightly damp. Uh, let's see what we can do. So we've got this edge. That's looking pretty rough. Let's see if we can unrough it. Hard to hold it. No, not really. Not really! Okay, well, let me fuss with this for a minute. It's not working terribly well. I mean, it's slightly cleaning, but then it kind of goes too low. Okay, keep going. All right. I mean, I wouldn't say it was perfect, but there's no giant smears along the inside of the tray, and that's about as much as we can ask for, I think. Now we're supposed to wait 20 minutes total, so about 10 more minutes, because that took me a long time, until the grout is set, but not like set set, but set enough, then we should be able to wipe it off. Ah, I guess, mm, cross your fingers. Hopefully it will actually come off, because that will look better than this. This is fine, not what we were going for. So we'll give it another 10 or so, and finish it right up. While I was waiting, I dampened some paper towels. So, cross your fingers. Think it's gonna work? I don't know. Ooh. Okay, not bad. I mean, I don't know that I'm not just scooping a whole bunch of grout out from between the tiles. I'll try not to. Sort of just scoop very lightly. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> but it looks cool. Ooh. All right, well, let's just keep going and see what we can clear up in there. <laughs> Either I'm doing this wrong, which is possible, or they have had us do this significantly too early because I don't really feel like the grout is set and I feel like every time I try to carefully wipe off the tiles, I am scooping grout from in between them, which is not really what we're looking for. So I am going to let it dry for a while longer and then we'll see if maybe then I can polish the tiles. I don't know. I feel like I did an okay job around the edges. I mean, not great, but they're kind of smooth now. So at least I've done that. I would like to clean up the actual tiles. I think that would look better, mm, but we'll see if that's possible. So I don't know, I'll give it another 10 minutes. I do not have any idea. I don't do a lot of grouting, as you can clearly tell. So I don't know how long to wait. I'll start with 15, because I don't think it's going to change in 10 minutes. And then maybe we'll get a pretty finish, or we won't. But we'll find out. Fifteen minutes later, it is still not dry. And not only that, but a bunch of the tiles that were perfectly secure before I put all the stuff on, not secure anymore, so now my spacing is um, more messed up than it was. That's fine, it's unique. What if I try a little cotton swabs? 
Let me see if I can clear off the triangles with cotton swabs, and then I can just let the rest of it dry and, I don't know, polish it one day. So, um, let's try that! Well, this appears to be the best I can do for now. It looks a lot better on camera than it does in person. I mean, is it a cool project? Sure. Is it a fun idea? Yeah. Am I super disappointed in the finish because I feel like the instructions were just wrong? Yes. I feel like I spent a very long time on this and it looks like I spent about 10 minutes and just slapped it together. So for me, that's a little disappointing. Am I still definitely going to put it out somewhere in my house? Yes. I am going to try a few more times to clean it up. We'll see if that works. Um, but for now, I'm definitely going to just not touch it for a while because it's very, very squishy still. And then when it's actually finished, actually drying, I will try to polish the top. We'll see. I'll put a little video in here of the best that I can get it to look, because right now I'm all set. All set. So, eh. My overall verdict is a uh, meh. A cool idea, but it didn't work for me. I mean, I followed the instructions, so I did it exactly the way that they wanted me to. Don't! Don't do it the way they want you to. I don't know how long you should wait before you get the grout off, but longer, I guess, because it was not, not good this way. But that's okay. It was a learning experience. I'm not sure that I am excited about tiling my kitchen or anything right now, but it was fun to make. If you enjoyed this video and my suffering, thanks, <laughs> you can feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you like this kind of video, I have a whole bunch more Maker Crates. And make sure that you're subscribed if you're not already. You can do that right underneath the video. And click the all notifications bell so you don't miss anything. New videos come out every Saturday, so stay tuned for the next one. It's not going to be tiling. Mm. <laughs> Until the next one, be awesome. I'll see you then.